Here is the Avast Security News Roundup for the week ending October 21st, 2022. Caffeine makes fishing easy. A fishing as a service platform called Caffeine is unlike others in that it offers an open registration process requiring neither invitations nor referrals allowing anyone who registers to access all the tools one could need to launch a phishing attack. The phishing tools offered by Caffeine include self-service mechanisms that can be used to craft customized phishing kits, manage intermediary redirect pages, and final stage lure pages, dynamically generated URLs for hosted malicious payloads, and track campaign email activity. Caffeine's templates mostly target Russian and Chinese platforms, but researchers worry that if more templates are added, the site could become exceedingly dangerous. See Bleeping Computer for more. Be Real has massive installs, but few daily users. According to market intelligence company Sensor Tower, social media app Be Real has topped 53 million installs, but only 9% of its active Android installs are opening the app every day. Typically, many users install apps out of curiosity, then abandon them due to lack of interest. An app's popularity is more precisely measured by the number of daily users. Instagram leads this category with 39% of its active installs opening the app every day. TikTok comes in second at 29%, followed by Facebook at 27%, Snapchat at 26%, YouTube at 20%, and Twitter at 18%. For more on this, see TechCrunch. Google Chat upgrades coming soon. To compete with Microsoft Teams, Slack, and even Zoom, Team Chat, Google announced that enhancements to Google Chat will soon be coming to Workspace. New features will include message threading later this month and custom emojis creation later this year. Next year, Workspace will introduce broadcast-only spaces to optimize presentations, as well as rollout APIs that will allow other apps to create and start meetings in Meet and initiate messages in chat. Google also announced extra security features that will help prevent sensitive information leaks. See The Verge to learn more. The Toyota data breach exposes source code and email addresses. Toyota disclosed a security incident where a subcontractor uploaded Toyota source code to a GitHub repository that was inadvertently set to public access. The source code contained an access key to a server where customers' information, such as email addresses, were stored. The company stated that up to 300,000 customer email addresses may have been compromised, though it is yet undetermined whether or not any third party has used the access key. No other customer information, such as names, phone numbers, or credit card details were stored on the server. Toyota has started sending out apology letters to affected customers. For more, see Security Week. Czar Call tricks victims into calling a number. Active since at least 2020, Bizarre Call campaigns involve social engineering schemes where victims are tricked into calling a phone line for help and being led through steps to install malware on their own systems. The phishing scam begins with bait in the form of an email that tells the potential victim that they have been charged for the purchase or renewal of an online service. A phone number is provided for any queries. When users call the number, they get a bad actor, actually acting, who tries to use any number of social engineering techniques to direct them to a website, have them download a malicious file, and execute it. The hackers then have remote access to the victim's system. See the report by Trellix for more details. DJI drone tracking data exposed in U.S. 
Over 80,000 drone IDs were exposed in a data leak after a database containing information from dozens of airspace monitoring devices manufactured by the Chinese-owned DJI was left accessible to the public. Think twice before taking out your shiny new drone for a spin near the Cannes Film Festival, a prison, a nuclear power plant, or an airport. Enhanced security institutions use devices to monitor drone movement, posing a privacy risk to its owner. Recently, the Cyber News research team stumbled upon an unprotected database with over 90 million drone monitoring logs generated by DJI devices, the largest market player in the world that sells both drones and devices to surveil them. See more at Cyber News. This week's must-read on the Avast blog. How much do you know about cybersecurity? This five cyber awareness question quiz will help protect everyone in your family, from the baby to grandma. Read the article at the link listed. Did you know video games have been found to be more effective at battling depression than therapy? Just thought you might want to know. That wraps up this week's Avast Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.